11.5 part two is still solving radical equations, only what you're going to notice today is that we're going to have radicals on both sides of the equations. And so we just, oh, all my writing's on there, sorry. We just want to get rid of those radicals. That's the only difference in what we're doing today. Um, whereas yesterday, we only had, <coughs> excuse me, a radical on one side or the other. So if it looks like this, Notice I have radicals on both sides. There's nothing outside the rads. So I'm just going to draw my wall and I want to get rid of those rads. And remember we learned getting rid of those is squaring them. And so when I square a rad, it just makes it literally go away and I just bring down exactly what's inside. So 3n minus 2 is equal to n plus 6. So don't get confused and think, oh, I'm supposed to square the first number or square the last number. That's not how it works. Remember that squaring just makes that rad go away. And then we're going to solve. So I have variables on both sides of the equal sign. So I'm going to move this in over by subtracting in. Remember, that's a 1 in there. So then I have 2 in. Bring down my minus 2 is equal to 6. And then we're just going to solve like we always would. So we're going to add 2 to both sides. And so 2 in is equal to 8. And then final step is to divide by 2. So n would be 4, okay? And we're just going to check and make sure, whoa, that, let's take that away if I can, that this works. Make sure it's not a negative under there. So if I put 4 right there, 3 times 4 is 12, minus 2 is 10. If I put a 4 here, 4 plus 6 is also 10. So it does, in fact, work. Rad 10 equals rad 10. And so there is our answer. Next one, oops, looks like this. And again, I have rads on both sides of my equations, nothing outside. So I'm going to draw in my wall and I'm going to get rid of those rads by squaring both sides. So I can just bring down 3t plus 4. And I can just bring down 5t minus 6. And then I'm going to solve. And I always move my smallest variable first. So I'm going to take it over by subtracting, putting it underneath the 5t because those are like terms. And I have 4 equals 5t minus 3t is 2t minus 6. And then I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So I have 10 equals 2t. And then I'm going to divide by 2. So t is equal to 5. And I'm just going to make sure that that works. If I plugged in 5 right here, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 4 would be 19. If I plugged in 5 right here, 5 times 5 is 25, minus 6 would also be 19. And so it does check. Moving on. Here's my next one. Once again. I have square roots on both sides of the equal sign and nothing outside, so I'm going to square both of them. And so I'm just going to bring down, it just cancels out the square root. So I have 3x minus 4 is equal to 2x plus 3. And then I'm going to get the variables on the same side. So again, I'm going to move my smallest. I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. So 1x minus 4 is equal to 3. And then I'm going to add 4 to both sides. <clears throat> and so x is equal to 7. And we're just going to do a check. If I plug in 7 right here, 3 times 7 is 21. Minus 4 would be 17. And then 2 times 7, if I plug in 7 here, would be 14 plus 3 is 17. And so they do, in fact, check. Next one. Again, I have square roots on both sides of the equal sign. I'm just going to get rid of them by squaring both sides. And that means I bring down 2x plus 7 is equal to 5x minus 8. Again, I'm going to move my smallest variable first. I'm going to do that by subtracting it, putting it under its like term. So 7 is equal to 3x minus 8. And then I'm going to add 8 to both sides. So 15 is equal to 3x, and then I'm going to divide everything by 3. 
And so x is going to be equal to 5. And if I go back and check, plug in 5 right here for x, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 7 would be 17. Check over here, plug in a 5, 5 times 5 is 25, minus 8 is also 17. And so it does, in fact, check. Whoops, let me get all that. Okay, and that now will lead you to your homework assignment where you have that half sheet of paper. Um, if you lost that, you can access it below this video. Thanks.